Hi, I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of how to integrate with Aptos. Aptos is a retail platform. Uh, they have a number of products for uh, order management, uh, points of sale, merchandising, etc. Uh, it's a popular platform, but it's very hard to integrate with. So I'm just going to give you a quick five minute introduction on how to go about doing that. Uh, so the place to start is the uh, documentation website. Uh, this details are some basics about how to get started on uh, integrating with them. Uh, and it has documentation on different uh, functions you can perform and uh, entities you can look up. So you can look up customers, location, products, etc. We're just going to go through a simple example of looking at a list of active products. Uh, so if you go to the product listing, this will give you all the methods you can do uh, on the product. Uh, so some of their services are regular ASMX, uh, ASP.NET web services, uh, but some of them are web handlers, uh, ASHX files, uh, and most of them don't return responses in a proper XML format. Uh, they are formatted as XML, uh, but they're missing a root node in most cases, uh, and you need to you need to augment that for that to become a valid uh, XML document. So let's just go through a simple example of getting the active products. So let's see if I want to get the active products. This is the method, and you can see that in the URL I need to. Uh, along with the name of the method, I need to pass the uh, client name and client code. This is like a username and password that you can get from uh, your Aptos administration account when you purchase a subscription. Uh, so in Visual Studio, uh, I am just basically, this is a simple uh, command line application. I'm just pulling up my client name and code from the configuration files. Uh, I will need to add a reference to the service. So basically, So once the reference is set up, uh, you're basically just calling, setting up a client, then you're calling the active list method. You need to give it a page number, uh, and from that page number, then you can iterate. It gives you 25 at a time, and then I'm just dumping the response to an XML file. So let's just have a quick look at what that looks like. So this will run and. Now sometimes you get an error while you're calling their service <clears throat> and it's because by default when you add a service uh, it will not set up the configuration properly. So you want to make sure that your your web configuration is set up in this way. Um, you basically need to increase the sizes of the buffers and you need to make sure that you're pointing to the right service URLs. Uh, so let's give this a go. This time it runs and it updates the XML. So this is what the response looks like. Format it. Uh, you can see that there is no parent node here, which is why you can't load this directly into an XML document to parse it any further. This is the first of the 25 pages, and then you have a bunch of products, and then you see the product details in there as well. Uh, integrating with Aptos can be pretty tricky. Uh, integrating with any system can be tricky, but particularly so with Aptos because of the lack of documentation and its peculiarities. Uh, if you ever have any issues, feel free to get in touch. My email should be in the uh, video's description.